being at the start of this video, which is the intro, I can't really tell you how the whole structure of this video is going to go down. SGYC, why is he so crazy? Brr. Today we're reacting to the middle eight. Hip hop is dying. SGYC, why is he so crazy? Brr. Middle eight. Let's get it. From 2015 to 2018, hip hop music experienced a sort of golden era. Big names like Kanye West proved they still had a great album in them, Drake and Kendrick Lamar were finally reaching global superstardom, and rising sensations like XXX Tentacion were producing viral hits of their own. I'll be thinking like that because I'll be thinking 2015 for me was ages ago. Like I would have been 10. But some people were like 20, bro, so was it that long ago for them, you know what I mean? Because they will remember all these things that were happening. I just remember the playing PS3, uh, WWE, or like 2K14, 2K15, 2K16, you know, stuff like that. So, what's going on? Well, it's clear hip-hop is facing a number of challenges. Heavy hitters like Drake, Kendrick, and Post Malone are venturing into different phases of their careers, focusing less yeah, on producing... Yeah, talk about these three. Drake is kind of like, will he, won't he do a good album is it gonna be like another mid one with kendrick it's like oh he's just dropped an album so this goes down but he's not being able to be to pimp a butterfly like that um and post for launch kind of went I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be in your local as the but i'm never gonna be in your playlist saying that like 2022 like summer i was listening to um happier song by post malone there's also external influences like COVID and TikTok that have had a massive impact on the industry and the way we consume and discover music. I'm just trying to take hip hop by the Drake era. Hey yo. I'm we got to fight the powers that be. That was one that I was that member from the boat. I just mean really hip hop artists and also embraced a do it yourself culture, rejecting. I mean, I'm a pissing Cody. That and that's the way it is. Go against popular opinion. I'm really happy for you. I'm let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of this all was time. So famous. While these, even though it gave us uh, like a new Kanye, this whole like when he ran onto the stage and said Beyonce had the best video of all time, and I found out that it was a single ladies, bro. Like that was so pointless because single ladies is not even like close to being the best video of all time. None of that 2009, 2000, like early 2010 was like, that was an ugly phase in music, bro. But like punk did for rock back in the 70s and 80s, there's a rebellion happening against the mainstream. Hip hop is getting weird. Who's scaring the host? This era didn't start because of Yeezus. It didn't even begin with death grips, but it was certainly industrial in sound. <laughs> most divisive Whoa. release so that means that the person that starts that the whole is how hip-hop was set to evolve it signaled five no, essential elements in the coming years artists would be able to manipulate sound in ways and in places that were not possible before it's how college roommates like hip-hop group clipping can craft tracks around the sound of their alarm clock the new Sebastian, bro. or how baltimore rapper jpeg mafia can manipulate a pen clicking into something we've never heard before <laughs> Maya also addressed complex themes around information politics, how much we can rely on our news sources, the sanctity of our online data, and the future of truth in the digital age. Yo, bro, that's, that, that ain't it. I'm not gonna lie. You do get, like, your Kendrick Lamar's, GJ Cole's, sometimes, like, you, you know you, the who's who basically that do be talking about the government the the woke stuff and they make it sound good but when everybody else try to talk about woke stuff it makes you want to fall asleep then there's something like the joint effort from kid cuddy and kanye west that meditates on mental health and redemption during a period when global mental that, that health was a decent album bro cut that on vinyl bro yeah, so I'll cut it on vinyl. And understand that the power of music is something so special and be able to do it on this magnitude where you reach millions of people. It's like, why not use that for good? Why not tell kids something that they can connect with and use in their life? I understand where Kid Cudi's coming from, but how are you gonna... Like, my, my if you listen to my music, bro, you, know, you think that I'll just make all this book stuff because 
you know, one day at a time, it's just slow BPM kind of boom bap, then you go into 22-22, which is less work and more fun. It's a, every basic, basically, everything that I'm making is more heading away from the work stuff and trying to make more this psychedelic thing. <laughs> I feel like my music is going to be a problem to society if I keep going, basically. All I wanted to do was help kids not feel alone mm -hmm. and stop kids from committing suicide. Yeah, all that depressing stuff though is like making people want to uh, commit suicide. Uh, no, that's you true. No, that's you true what I just said though. Well, I feel like that. Just representation for everybody. But Sean C, I remember seeing the video on Sean C where he was picking out his best album. And then it came between the Two Pimper Butterfly versus Wizard by Future and he chose Wizard by Future because it felt more like a distraction even though it had the same kind of issues that maybe the Pimper Butterfly was talking about oh yeah okay it did it in a fun way where it was like a distraction like I feel what you're saying and I feel like that's my way too if you get what I mean their album No Love Deep Web was notoriously self-released online for free without the approval that's hard that they sold it for free. But my thing is, um, I get people that listen to Death Grips, but is it too much? Thanks to streaming platforms and the scale of the internet, artists who are more concerned with creating authentic and meaningful art than with being commercially appealing. See that? I get that one. Stream success, I get music. authentic I was art. literally trying to make money from this for so fucking long. Right. By the time I actually started making money from it, I was just like, got it. But your music to me doesn't really sound like somebody trying to make money off their music no that that wasn't the intention Seems like you would have made a lot of different choices <laughs> aesthetically <laughs> etc if you were really just trying to get paid a lot of the rappers i heard a lot of trying to get paid too helps to go tell her to go identity Kanye West has always known this, but his most drastic example. Yeezy season approaching, fuck whatever you yeah. Most recently, Lil Yachty ventured from his typical trap rap style to create a psychedelic rock record that sounds closer to Pink Floyd than anything in the realm of hip hop. It makes sense, uh, not a lot of people accepted it. It wasn't my type if of music though. Well, the music is no longer the output. Music is the input. The output is the audience and the audience compounds with time you know the way i make yeah i feel that new generations new ears this current era in hip-hop is very reminiscent of the punk revolution that took place in the 70s or even comparable to the grunge era of the 90s the artists i've mentioned are defying mainstream norms utilizing aggressive and experimental soundscapes mm, i got what you mean though so basically you're saying that what punk rock was doing like in the 70s what you Danny Browns and JPEG Mafias are doing now. Hard twerk, hard 26, no kids, yeah! Talk shit, back it up! His track titles alone have been enough to set the internet- Yeah, I get it. But I don't know how to play guitar, etc., etc. but right. the beauty of rap is I'm able to figure- Me neither, bro. Okay. Conventional and- I have to take control of this out of necessity because when my shit is left in other people's hands, they fuck it up every time. I get it. I get it. The only person that can really see where Jacob Mafia is specifically music, going. I mean, too, like, I see like where Jacob, Jacob, who the fuck is Jacob? Jacob Mafia. He was um, basically saying that nobody was able to get the way that he wanted. And I feel that with me as well. It's a, it'll be a little bit difficult to understand because Jacob Jake Big Mafia is a bit more difficult than the way that I am because he's got to be like my sounds like the way that he was with the click and pen it was like <sighs> instead of just a snare like that's kind of hard um and with me it's kind of like you got to get these chords right you got to get this percussion right you can't be too too like fast it's got to be like one of these slow kind of i got like the plug the plug type of wave you know bound no chief is on plug and if i choose to rap on one of your beats then you know that i wrote one of your beats you know what i mean or at least that beat that you sent me so 
but my whole aesthetic feels like Atlanta, Fresh Prince of Bel Air, and Grownish all mixed in one. Bad Brains, uh, this band called Fear. I don't oh, even yeah, know. Yeah. Um, Fear, um, just a lot of punk artists, Black Flag, mm. people like that, because they. Um, you know, look at their shows. It's hectic. They're like, they're out there. The vocals might sound like shit. They might fuck up. But the lot. So he's saying that these guys were his people that basically he, if he wasn't rapping, he would be making rock music. And y'all, if y'all know, you know about me, which you don't, because I reckon like a lot of you are new. Um, the way that some people have heard me rap, if I wasn't rapping, I'd be making R&B. You know what I mean? I'm already going to, I'm breath. R and B way just gonna hear it. Follow the standard. We don't all have to sound like the baby. It's fine. We can do other things. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm trying to say. If more stuff like that, more risk taking happen, I just think creatively, rap could become like just so much more interesting. You know what I mean? It's fine now. I just think it could be. Mm, I feel that. Well, that's the reason that hip hop's dying. And you know, even like people like. If you look at Tyler Sway in the morning, not Sway in the morning, my bad, my bad, my bad. Tyler's um, flex. If you look at an interview from that, then he's, he's saying that people were afraid to be weird. And you know, YG, he was on about YG as well. And I feel that, I, I do feel like people should be in their own type of mindset, like, yo, this just came here, I'm going to do this, this just, you oh. Don't know if this will work, but I'm gonna try this. You know, just try and get what you want to get down. And it's simple. It's really simple as well. If you know what you want, then it's really simple. That's me. That's you, YC. YC so crazy. Out.